Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Praise, Promises and Prime Minister J.A. We continue the reading of the first verse of each chapter of the Bible, starting with the first eight Genesis and Exodus, Leviticus and Numbers, Deuteronomy and Joshua. Judges and root. So today we're up to Judges, and next we will do root. Judges has 21 chapters, so we'll do the first verse of each chapter. Here goes. Let us say a word of prayer first. Father, thank you for um, placing this desire on my heart. Um, pray that I be obedient more and more, dear Lord, to your prompting, to your Holy Spirit guidance. And thank you for this opportunity to read your word. Bless it now, dear Lord, and we come to you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Judges um, chapter 1 and verse 1 reads, Now after the death of Joshua, it came to pass that the children of Israel asked the Lord, saying, Who shall go up for us against the Can Canaanites first to fight the again first to fight against them. Judges two and verse one. And an angel of the Lord came up from Gilgal to Bochim and said, I made you to go up out of Egypt. And have brought you into the land which I swear unto your fathers. And I said, I will never break my covenant with you. Judges 3 and verse 1. Now these are the nations which the Lord left to prove Israel by them. Even as many of Israel as had not known all the wars of Canaan. Judges 4 and verse 1. And the children of Israel came again, did evil in the sight of the Lord, when Edom was dead. Edom was dead. Judges 5 and verse 1. Then sang Deborah and Barak, the son of Abiob, and on that day saying, Judges 6 and verse 1, And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord delivered them into the hands of Midian seven years. Judges 7 and verse 1. Then Jerubalan, who is Gideon, and all the people that were with him, rose up early and pitched beside the well of Harod, so that the host of the Midianites were on the north side of them by the hill of Moreh in the valley. Judges 8 and verse 1. And the men of Eraphim said unto him, Why hast thou served us thus, that thou callest us not, when thou wert in fight with the Midianites? And they did chide with him sharply. Judges 9 and verse 1. And Abimelech, the son of Jerubbabel, went to Shisham, Shisham, unto his mother's brethren, and communed with them, and with all the family of the house of his mother's father, saying, Judges 10 and verse 1. And after Abilalek, there arose to defend Israel. Tola, the son of Pua, the son of Dodo, a man of 
Isha Char and he dwell in Sharin Sharia in Mount Ephraim. Judges eleven and verse one. Now Jephthah the Gilead was a mighty man of valor, and he was the son of an harlot. And Gilead begat Je Jephth Jephthan. Jephthan. Judges 12 and verse 1. And the men of Ephraim gathered themselves together and went northward and said unto Jephthan, Wherefore passest thou over to fight against the children of Hanun? And didst not call us to go with thee? We will burn thine house upon thee, upon thee with fire. Judges 14 verse 1. And Samson went down to Timnath. T-I-M-N-A-T-H. Timnath and saw a woman in Timnath of the daughter of the Philistine. Judges 15 and verse 1. But it came to pass within a while after, in the time of wheat harvest, that Samson visited his wife with a kid, and he said, I will go in to my wife into the chamber. But her father would not suffer him to go in. Judges 16 and verse 1. Then went Samson to Gaza, and saw there an harlot, and went in unto her. Judges 17 and verse 1. And there was a man on Mount Ephraim, whose name was Micah. Judges 18 and verse 1. In those days there was no kin in Israel, and in those days the tribe of the Danites sought them an inheritance to dwell in, for unto that day all their inheritance had not fallen unto them among the tribes of Israel. Judges 19 and verse 1. And it came to pass in those days, when there was no kin in Israel, that there was a certain Levite sojourned on the side of the Mount Ephraim, who took to him a concubine out of Bet El Jad. Bet Le Head Jad. Judges 20 and verse 1 reads Then all the children of Israel went out, and the congregation was gathered together as one man from Dan, even to bear Sheba and the land of Gilead unto the Lord in Mizpeh. Judges 21 and verse 1, the final chapter. Now the men of Israel had sworn is in Miz, M -I -Z -P -E -H, Mizpeh, saying, There shall not any of us give his daughter unto Benjamin to wife. That's the final chapter in the book of Judges.